Hi. Now in four part B, what we're asked to do is find the distance A to B and give A to B in the form k root 5, where k is an integer. Now as a brief reminder of how you find distances, what we've got here is two points, just generally A and B on a line, with coordinates x1, y1 and x2, y2 respectively. And by Pythagoras' theorem, the hypotenuse squared, that's AB squared, is equal to this length squared plus this length squared. So that means that AB, all squared in general, is equal to this length, which is the difference between the x coordinates. So you could say that that's x2 minus x1 all squared. And then it's the difference between the y coordinates, and that length is all squared. So that's y2 minus y1 all squared. So that's just a brief reminder of Pythagoras' theorem when applied to coordinate geometry, the distance between two points. And we can use that in this question here. So if we're going to find the distance AB, we'll start by saying AB squared equals the sum of the squares, the two sides of the triangle. Let's just draw that triangle in for you. It's going to look something like that. It's a right angle triangle. So AB squared is equal to this length squared plus this length squared. So when it comes to this length, it's the difference between the x coordinates. That's going to be 8 minus minus 6. So that's 8 minus minus 6 all squared. You can see this gives 14. So that length across there is 14 units. Then we have to add it to the difference between the y coordinates. And the difference between the y coordinates will be 4 minus minus 3. So that's 4 minus minus 3. And then we square that length. This comes to 7. So this distance here is 7. So let's just work this out then. This is 14. So 14 squared is 196. And then this is 7. 7 squared is 49. So we end up with 196 plus 49, which is 245. So therefore, AB is going to be equal to the square root of 245. Now, we get an idea about how to break this down when we look at this answer. It's got a root 5 in it, so it seems to suggest that 5 will go into this. Well, it will do anyway, because we've got a 5 on the end. So if you do divide 245 by 5, what you end up is 49 times 5. So therefore, what we have is AB is equal to the square root of 49 times 5. 49 fives, 245. And this is the same as the square root of 49 multiplied by the square root of 5. And the square root of 49 is 7. So we end up with 7 root 5. 7 root 5 then is in this format and is the distance AB. Now, just in passing here, okay, some people ask me which way round you have to do the subtraction. To be honest, it doesn't really matter because you're going to be squaring your results here. So, therefore, you know, if you were to do minus 6 minus 8 and then square it, you'd still get 196. I did 4 minus minus 3 here. Even if you did minus 3 minus the 4 and then squared it, you would still end up with 49. So when it comes to using the formula for working out the distance between two points here, it really doesn't matter whether you do x2 minus x1 or x1 minus x2 because you're squaring it. And the same applies to the y values. All right, well, that brings us to the end of this question, and I uh, hope you're able to follow that.